Today, let's talk about Lady Barbara Dustin, her history, and actions in the books. When we meet Barbara Dustin in the books, she is a tall woman, unbent, and still handsome, with hair that is equal parts gray and brown, with wrinkles at the corners of her mouth and more around her eyes. But well before she married into House Dustin, and before the novels, Barbara was born into House Riswell to Lord Roderick Riswell. Barbara would have one older sister, Bethany, and three brothers, Roger, Rickard, and Roos. Barbara is described as intelligent and politically astute, but also a woman that knows how to nurse a grievance. Though she seems cold as a middle-aged woman, it's likely that coldness developed over the years. Like a lot of characters in the Song of Ice and Fire series, we don't have much about Lady Barbara's past. But we do know that in her youth, her father had great ambitions for House Riswell, with Barbara stating her father would have served her maidenhead to any Stark that happened by. Because of these ambitions, Lord Riswell was always happy to host Brandon Stark, the heir to Winterfell at the time, and Eddard Stark's older brother at his home. Which would happen often, as even though Lord William Dustin would foster the young Brandon Stark at Barrowton, Brandon would spend most of his time riding the rills, controlled by House Riswell and close by. During one of these times of hosting the young heir, Brandon and Barbara would become lovers after Brandon took her virginity. From Barbara's retelling of the story, it seems they had a very passionate relationship, and she was in love with him. They would remain lovers for a time until Brandon was arranged to marry Catelyn Tully. Brandon would claim that he never wanted Catelyn, and Barbara believed him. If he was telling the truth, who can say? Brandon was known as a bit of a wild wolf. Though Barbara states Rickard Stark, Brandon Stark's father, had ambitions of his own which led him to betroth Brandon to Catelyn, Barbara believes that it was Rickard Stark's maester that whispered in Rickard's ear to marry his son to House Tully. Because of this suspicion, and because she believes it's the reason that she lost the man she loved and wanted to marry, Barbara would grow to distrust and hate maesters, calling them gray rats that scurry everywhere, living on the leavings of the lords, and whispering in the ears of their masters. She even has suspicions they twist words to fit their own ends. With Brandon betrothed, Barbara's father would look to the next Stark, Art, to marry his daughter to. But Catelyn Tully got him as well after Brandon died and Ned married Cat instead. Lady Barbara would state that after that, all that was left was Lord William Dustin, who she ended up marrying, until, according to her, Ned Stark took him from her. Not half a year after marrying Lord William Dustin and becoming Lady Dustin, Robert's rebellion would happen. She begged her husband not to go, to send his kin, but Lord Dustin was a proud man and went to war despite her pleas. She would give him a red stallion with a fiery mane the day he set out, and Lord Dustin promised to come back. But he never did, as her husband would die at the Tower of Joy, fighting alongside Ned Stark. Ned would return the horse to Lady Dustin, stating her husband died an honorable death. But Ned had buried Lord Dustin's bones beneath the Red Mountains of Dorne, instead of bringing them back to the north and Lady Dustin. This greatly angered her, and following these events, it is believed Barbara grew to hate the Starks. Though later she would hint to Theon Greyjoy that she hates the Starks because she wanted to be one but never could. So her hate for them could have began when she couldn't marry Brandon and then Ned. Whenever that hate grew and she began to hold a grudge against the Starks, we know that it would grow so great that over 16 years after the incident, she claims she has been watching for Ned's bones so that they may never rest in the crypts of Winterfell, but be fed to her dogs. But back to Robert's rebellion. Following her husband's death, Lady Dustin would remain in charge of House Dustin and Barrowton, and from that day forward, she would dress in black. Around this time, most likely a few years before Robert's rebellion, House Riswell, and by extension, Barbara, would be tied to House Bolton when her older sister, Bethany Riswell, became the second wife of Roose Bolton and gave him one son, Domeric Bolton, before Bethany died of a fever. Domeric would be sent to Barrowton to serve for four years as a page to his aunt, Barbara Dustin. She would grow fond of the boy, and when he died in 297 AC, she suspected Roose's bastard, Ramsay Snow's hand in it. 
because of this suspicion, she cannot stomach Ramsay. So that is all we know before the books. Now let's talk about Lady Dustin's actions in the books. Lady Dustin would send as few men as she could to join Rob Stark's army during the War of the Five Kings. Among the men she sent, she placed spies to report back to her what was occurring. Later, after the death of Rob Stark and Roose Bolton becoming Warden of the North, Lady Dustin would sign a letter, along with other Northerners, that was sent to inform the Ironborn and Asha Greyjoy that Moat Kaelin was taken and to tell them to get out of their land. Lady Dustin would end up hosting the Boltons at Barrow Tun, where Ramsay's wedding to fake Arya was supposed to take place. At this time, Roose would make it very clear to Ramsay, and Lady Dustin would confirm to Theon, that the Boltons need Lady Dustin and her support. Upsetting her would lose him House Dustin and Riswell, along with much needed men, so Roos is sure to keep her sweet. However, Roos believes that her tendency to hold grudges and her hate for House Stark is largely what keeps her on the Bolton side, regardless of how sweet he is to her. We would also notice through Roos and Lady Dustin's interactions that Lady Dustin doesn't have the most respectful tone with Roos, which is odd given how he is the Warden of the North and generally doesn't tolerate such things. Her lack of etiquette could hint at a special relationship with Roos, or that she knows she can get away with more because Roos needs her. Roos would later move Ramsay's wedding to Winterfell, and Lady Dustin and her men would travel to the Old Stark Seat, bringing her own food and fodder with her. Other events in the books? Lady Dustin would tell Theon that he was to give away fake Arya to Ramsay, stating Theon was the nearest thing she had to living kin, and Lady Dustin would insist on taking custody of fake Arya until she was wedded. And interestingly, there is debate whether Lady Dustin knew that fake Arya was a fake at the time. Lady Dustin would also have a few conversations with Theon, one in which we learn that she thinks Wyman Manderley is a coward and is planning something, and that she believes Roose Bolton knows it. But she is certain Wyman won't survive the battle with Stannis, or Stannis for that matter, believing Roose will remove them both. We also learn through her conversations with Theon that Lady Dustin believes Roose to be a passionless man, and she thinks that people are simply his playthings. After the wedding of fake Arya and Ramsay, Lady Dustin would ask Theon to bring her to the crypts of Winterfell. During this trip, she would tell Theon to inform Ramsay that Roos is not pleased at Arya's crying, and that the Northmen love the Starks and it is no good if she is left to sob. However, she would also let Theon know that she doesn't love the Starks. Here we would learn that Theon believes Lady Dustin is aware that fake Arya is indeed a fake or at least has suspicions. While in the crypts of Winterfell, Lady Barbrae would also ask about the missing swords and share some of her history with Theon, including hers and Brandon Stark's affair. After their visit to the crypts, she would tell Theon to keep what she said to himself. Later, when tensions grew at Winterfell, Lady Dustin would be one of the people that calmed the phrase down when they started to attack Wyman Manderley on suspicions that he had a hand in a few phrase deaths. During investigations into who was killing people at Winterfell, Lady Dustin would remind the phrase that many of the lords at Winterfell had lost kin at their Red Wedding, with Lord Roger Riswell stating, House Riswell, and Barbray adding, Even Dustin's out of Barrowton, and with a thin smile she would say, The North remembers Frey. From there, we don't know yet what Lady Dustin is currently up to. There are generally two big questions asked about Lady Dustin. Why was she so interested in the Winterfell Crypts, and what is the point of her? Meaning, is she there for exposition, or part of some important future plot? And next video, we'll talk about what this crazy lady might be up to. Which originally was going to be a part of this video, but then I went too crazy. Make sure you like the video, it helps the channel out a lot. New Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire videos at least twice a week. If you haven't seen the Game of Thrones video schedule update, please do so. I don't want people to be surprised when you see Essos videos in front of the camera or why they're there. Also, thank you very much for your support on that first Essos video. The support was overwhelming and so appreciated. You guys are amazing. Stark Month will likely begin the last Sunday this month and go through April. You guys came up with so many great topics, there was no way to fit it all in one month. You're also getting a Blood Raven video soon, which will tie into next month's videos. Thanks for watching.